A warm welcome to all viewers. Today we will learn about how to find out the basic runway length. I am Ashok Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Learning outcome of the today's session. At the end of the session, students are able to calculate the basic runway length. As already we are already discussed in the previous session, the actual runway length includes the basic runway length plus the corrections. Corrections which we are going to apply, that is elevation correction, temperature correction, and gradient correction. So before we apply the correction, we need to find out the basic runway length. So this is already we have discussed in the previous session how to calculate the basic runway length and these are the notations we are going to use it for deriving the basic runway length. Basic runway length is obtained basically considering the three factors. The length basic runway length should be sufficient to have safe landing, to have safe takeoff and if there is any engine failure case, the length of the runway should be sufficient to stop the aircraft and come back safely. So these two cases already we have discussed that is normal landing case and normal takeoff case. In this session we will learn how to find out the basic runway length for the engine failure case and already we know that out of this calculating the three lengths and uh, the longest length runway length will be finally adopted. So it is an emergency condition where pilot identifies that the there is a problem in the engine. So here there is a two conditions may arrive in front of the pilot. The option one when he came to know that the there is a problem in the engine or any pilot detects the some problem in the engine. So he has to go to abort the flight if there is a permissibly the, the speed of the aircraft is uh, below the designated level, he can abort the, uh, the takeoff and come back uh, within a certain distance, he has to stop the vehicle and come back safely. So if the speed of the engine is more than the engine failure speed, then he has to proceed with the takeoff, but you do not have any option because already the aircraft has got an initial speed. and with that aircraft identifies that the length of the runway is not sufficient to deaccelerate the vehicle and come back safely, he has to proceed with the takeoff and in the turning zone he should turn the aircraft and come back safely on the runway. So option 1 is very very important uh, with respect to the design perspective because the, the runway should be adequately long to. Uh, let the plane to be deaccelerate and come to a safe halt without running beyond the runway. Suppose uh, the if the runway length is sufficiently long, the identifies the pilot identifies that the he can uh, deaccelerate the uh, the uh, aircraft speed and use the runway length or use the stopway also after the runway length and stop the aircraft and come back safely. So pilot option one is very very important with respect to the design aspects. Now over here the there is option that the engine failure is identified, the pilot identifies that the engine failure is over here and front of that the sufficient distance should be available for the pilot to deaccelerate the vehicle. So this is the distance deaccelerate stop distance is available that includes the stopway also. So within the distance uh, the pilot should able to stop it, deaccelerate and stop the aircraft and come back safely. So here the LOD lift off distance and clear way is already we know that this is uh, equal to the half this distance and uh, this is the accelerate stop distance and if it is in a plan it looks like the, this is your full strength runway includes the stop way and clear way this is uh, uh, the area within the uh, airport authority used for safe landing and takeoff and width of the clear way is 150 meter minimum. Now we will case we will take these two cases one by one. The first case is engine failure, takeoff is proceeded. The usually we have a two cases whether to deaccelerate the engine, uh, uh, deaccelerate the vehicle, and within the deaccelerated distance, we can able to stop it. But if the speed is already initial speed is more than the engine speed, then he has to 
proceed the takeoff because that within that speed you cannot able to stop within this deaccelerate stop distance okay with in this case you have to proceed with the uh, your uh, takeoff is proceeded in this case how to calculate the various parameters where we have full strength runway is uh, this is the full strength runway all the payment layers are provided and clear way indicates the cw and tod is what your takeoff distance and tor is takeoff run so tor uh, here is field length fl uh, is include uh, that will be full strength runway plus your clear way that is your field length available to you and uh, tod takeoff distance is equal to d 10.5 that all we know that the distance to reach a height of 10.5 that is a d 10.5 and here uh, if you would like to calculate the clear way that is a uh, 0.5 times th this is all we know that this is half this distance how to calculate the clear way over here that is half the the tod tod is from here to here and uh, half uh, the tod minus the lift off distance that will use the clear way over over here so this is the clear way now uh, that should be equal to half this distance somewhere over here it may starts the your clear way now second case if the engine is failed or uh, pilot detects that the engine failure has happened over here in that case the pilot wants to stop he the speed is very lesser and he uh, understands that the uh, he can able to stop the pilot uh, aircraft within the distance in that case the distance front of him that is called as a deaccelerate uh, stop distance available to him to stop the particular uh, aircraft so in this case the deaccelerate stop distance and here fl again field length is equal to full strength runway plus the your stop way so stop way is over here so this is your stop way which is used for the uh, emergency condition so up to this full strength runway is used and up to uh, the pilot uh, feels that still he needs some more length within the stop way he can able to take the aircraft and uh, turn the aircraft in the stop way so up to the stop way you are able to get the uh, distance to deaccelerate and turn the aircraft so in this case fl that is a deaccelerate stop distance is called as a das so this is your uh, the das and uh, full strength uh, uh, full strength runway if you das given to you and uh, stop way is given to you, you can able to calculate full strength runway is a das minus sw or das and fs is given to you, you can calculate what is uh, the stop way over here that is das minus fs so das indicates the deaccelerate stop distance and sw indicates the stop way let's take the uh, example to understand uh, in detail uh, how to calculate these various parameters for given conditions like normal landing normal takeoff and engine failure takeoff and engine aborted uh, engine failure aborted case also so in this can uh, we have given the uh, uh, sd is given to stopping distance is given to lift off distance is given to d 30 uh, 35 this is in feet they have given but if you do convert that it will become a d 10.5 so you should not get confused so d 35 and d 10.5 both are same and lod that is again lod for uh, continued takeoff is given and uh, d 10.5 is also given and aborted case das also given to you that is the accelerate stop distance also given to you so with this case how to calculate various parameters let us understand one by one first one normal landing case this is already we know that the normal landing case uh, we are going to calculate this uh, ld landing distance uh, that is uh, 0.60 percent of the landing distance that that already we know that so with this relation we can able to calculate what is the landing distance so landing distance is equal to sd upon 0.6 so sd is a stopping distance so stopping distance is equal to 0.6 times the landing distance so here we are going to calculate what is the landing distance so given yes sd is given to you sd is given 1524 in this example with that you are able to use this relation and calculate what is the landing distance that is 1 by 0 0.6 that comes to 1.667 1.667 multiply by sd that gives the landing distance that is for the normal landing case and for the uh, uh, normal takeoff case second case so here again uh, we are going to calculate the various parameters that is a tod cl and uh, your tor here is uh, uh, tod already we know that the tod is 150 percent of the d 10.5 height the d 10.5 height is already given to you so d 10.5 height is uh, 2438 
So, with that uh, you can able to calculate what is the takeoff distance. So, t takeoff distance is equal to 1 15 percent of the distance to reach 10.5 height. In this example, d 10.5 o or d 35 is given as 2438. With that we are able to calculate the TOD. So, clear way, uh, clear way it is also it is already we know that the half this distance, half the TOD minus uh, 115 percent of the LOD. So, if you know the LOD and TOD and you can able to calculate the TOD is already calculated 2804 and LOD is given as uh, 2134, you can able to calculate what is the clear way this is uh, available to the pile. Now, uh, uh, T or over here, takeoff run, takeoff run, uh, takeoff run is nothing but your full strength runway only. So, how to calculate the full strength runway? Uh, you know the all the parameters over here. So, full strength runway or T or uh, that is equal to T O D minus uh, clear way. So, our clear way or uh, this uh, uh, C L both are uh, remain same. So, you should not get confused. C W or C L both are same over here. This is C L or C W. So, if you know the T O D and uh, your C W or C L, you can able to calculate what is the takeoff run. So, takeoff run is nothing but a full strength uh, runway. Now, for the engine failure uh, takeoff, uh, now uh, the uh, uh, engine failure takeoff and aborted case also. So, in the previous uh, so the uh, this one we have calculated the uh, normal takeoff uh, which is uh, in this case and now for the engine failure case we should know to how to calculate the, the clear way. Again clear way is given as 0.5 times the TOD minus LOD and uh, in this case the we know the TOD and LOD you can able to calculate the what is the clear way or CW also. So, TOR again it that is equal to TOD minus C wall that is TOR is nothing but your uh, full strength runway and the you know the TOD and uh, CL you can able to calculate what is a TOR. So, engine failure aborted case. So, in this case, so we have uh, the pilot requires this much distance the DS distance that is uh, the deaccelerate stop distance. So, here this is the distance from here to here we are going to call this is the deaccelerate distance. So, in the example d s is already given to. So, for that case uh, this much distance is uh, sufficient for a pilot to stop the aircraft deaccelerate the vehicle and turn the aircraft uh, safely. Now, overall together the summary uh, we have field length uh, is got as uh, we have to compare the all this uh, LD, TOD and DS adopt the maximum one that is what the our objective over here we should get the maximum basic runway length. So, comparing LD, TOD and DS we have DS is the maximum in this case. So, that is adopted as the field length and FS is your uh, the full strength runway that is uh, the maximum of TOR and LD that is taken as uh, 2637 and here the stop wave is calculated that is uh, the DIS that is the deaccelerate minus your full strength runway. So, if you deduct the DAS minus uh, full strength that comes the 259 meter of length of uh, the stop wave which is available on both sides of the uh, runway and uh, a clear wave is uh, like this calculated like this. So, these are the references we have used for uh, preparing this uh, presentation. Thank you.